A white man in America robbed the bank for one dollar. The reason being that he wanted to be arrested so that he can have health care in a hospital. That's a white man. Firstly, black people in America always say white people are rich. We black people are excluded from the economy. There's prejudice against us. Well, black people, when you guys get money, you marry other races. Joel Embiid, Michael Jordan, you know, all of these people, Tim Duncan. When you get opportunities, you don't marry black women. You marry other races. Then you're going to cry about being excluded and being prejudiced and not having this, this. Marry into your own race like the Jewish people do. So this is a white man who robbed the bank for one dollar. And the other people in, uh, in the bank didn't say, you know what, I'll give you the dollar. I'll collect for you. There's a church. We'll start a GoFundMe. A girl who needs a breast implant or wants a breast implant or a butt implant can have a GoFundMe account started. But nobody said, okay, man, we're going to start a GoFundMe account. I don't know if it's because he's white and there's this notion that white people are rich. Like the people who died in that submarine. People are like, oh, these rich white people. There was a Pakistani in there. But they're like, oh, these rich people. No, they don't have pity. Those bank people should have said something. In Africa, I've never heard of a person robbing a bank of one currency to go to jail. In fact, I've never heard of somebody robbing a bank with the intention of going to jail. They may go to jail if we catch them. Most of the time, we don't catch them. But they're not going to do it because we don't have basic health care. We have basic health care. America spends millions of dollars, or if not billions, on their soldiers to go around and kill people. Going around invading, then you blame Putin for invading one country when you've literally invaded all across the world. But your, your people are stealing to, to go get health care in a hospital. And everybody like, oh, but America is the best country on earth. America is the place to go. America this, America that. America decides who uses coal and who uses renewable energy. America gives sanctions to African countries who say we are tired of people exploiting our goods. Do you know that Africa's gold, mines, silver, you know, all of that, it, don't, it doesn't belong to Africans. It still belongs to the damn colonialists. And the one you get an African leader who says, no, we're stopping this, stop exploiting us. America calls him a dictator or kills him. Or they put sanctions against him. What Robert Mugabe, Robert Mugabe gave the British for 10 years as per the agreement. 10 years came and then they did not. You like presidents like Nelson Mandela and Cyril Ramaphosa because they kiss asses. You know the life expectancy in South Africa in Jacob Zuma's time was 80 something years. It has gone down to 60 to 70 years. If you cannot count, that's about 10 years in the, in, in the loss of, I just lost a loved one two weeks ago. I was crying today. She was only 65. She worked for the government now. Why couldn't the government realize that this person was having heart issues, let her go in early retirement? Why not?